Hi everyone, it's Fitz with your daily delivery. Hope you're doing well. I am very good. Enjoying my bye week. It's my bye week. The team's also off. I'm going to watch football all weekend, except I got to mix in the Royals now because they're good again. It's very stressful. This off week's very stressful. I got decisions to make and I've got something on my mind. I wanted to have a little rant here, but I got to remind you to subscribe to this YouTube channel. We've crossed 14K. Thank you so much. Thank you to the BYU fans that have joined. And uh, this one's going to be more up your alley. Hit the thumbs up, like it, comment, all that good stuff. Greg Sankey's a jerk. That's it. That's old DD. The SEC commissioner, his arrogance has grown to the point where it's astonishing. So his latest stands are this. We want nothing to do with anyone other than the Big Ten. We're, we're above everyone else. We want to have our own football league with the Big Ten and exclude everyone else. Enjoy those antitrust suits. And um, they want to have their own network, ESPN. Now, let's set aside everything else about this realignment crap and his power play and his money grab and all the ugliness that goes with it. And I can argue that the Big Ten isn't that elite. They have some elite teams, but the rest of the conference just isn't that competitive. But let's leave that aside. ESPN is a major problem for the Big 12, and so is Fox. Basically, to put this in terms that the fellas can understand, you're in the friend zone with both of them. They're dating someone else. Fox is all in on the Big Ten. ESPN's all in on the SEC. This conference really wants to survive and thrive. They're going to have to find their own partner. Look, I'm part of the 24-7 CBS Paramount family. I'd prefer it be CBS. But maybe it's going to be Turner. Now that they've lost the NBA, I can see them turning in to a lot of college athletics. The good thing about a combination of CBS and Turner, you've got uh, the Paramount Plus platform, CBS. You also have uh, multiple channel destinations. You've got the network. You've got CBS Sports Network. And if they really wanted to, they could probably put games streaming on HQ. I don't know if that would do what they want to do. But Turner also is looking at changing one of their channels to all sports. Turner makes sense to me. Because Brett Yormark's friends with those people. I really am beginning to hope and believe that for the Big 12 to thrive, <clears throat> most of the next contract has to be outside of ESPN and Fox. Now, maybe they want to be able to grab a night game once in a while or something else. But I think they need to find their own gig. Because at some point, ESPN and Fox are going to say, look, we're going to just go all in on these schools and you're going to be streaming. They've actually had better network slots than I thought. Some of it's playing on Friday and some of it's, you know, playing at weird times. The Big 12 After Dark is a significant thing if you want to get on a big stage. So it's been okay this year, but it's going to change. Greg Sankey is going to want all of those time slots for his SEC teams. Believe me, he's going to pressure ESPN into giving them all the slots. And he'll win because that's the kind of power he has. And also, I've come to believe he's, there's a kind of an evil intent here. He's almost wanting to destroy college athletics and other athletic programs so that he can profit and his member schools can profit. It's not enough that they get the biggest contracts or they have the most viewership and they've got the most fans, which is obvious. They're incredible fans of the SEC. He needs everyone else to die. But he needs the Big Ten around to be kind of their useful idiot. We're going to schedule only games between the SEC and Big Ten in non-conference with power four schedules uh, because the SEC knows they're going to beat them because the Big Ten is not really that deep. So at the end of the day, I, I don't know where this is going to end up. I'll do a DD on the potential of having a Super League that it goes beyond those two conferences. But I know this. The, the Big 12 has got to find their own platform. They got to be secure that someone is going to put them on the front burner every Saturday and throughout college basketball season. We'll see what happens. But the Big 12 is in a really good position. Now, if the SEC cannot kill it, that would be a good thing.